Okay, we're, today what we're doing is we're setting up a store system and showing you some of the ways to use some of the up aqua CO2 units. So we've got a store situation where they've got some, you know, bigger tanks, CO2 tanks that they've had for a long time. They're spray painted, nothing fancy, but they, they're, they're not seen. And what we want to do is power multiple tanks that sell, they sell bunch plants out of so that you can get CO2 to multiple tanks. We're going to use... Um, a side mounted regulator. This is the um, A165. That's the adjustable control CO2 regulator from Up Aqua. This is one of the regulators that was ranked very high by a lot of different companies that did testing of regulators. It does have the adjustable outlet pressure. Remember, whenever you turn the tanks on, left and loosen that so you don't peg out your um, gauges you want to make sure that you don't have it turned all the way down then turn it on you can ruin your gauges it doesn't ruin the regulator but it can ruin the gauges and then we're also going to set up a second one with the uh, the new Azu regulator which it's a similar regulator slightly different feature but it has a fixed outlet PSI so it's it, it, it's it's a fixed regulator so you don't have that dial and here what we're using is and I'll show you how they mount uh, this is again the up aqua with the G515 accessory. It's a three-way accessory. It comes with these small o-rings and all you do is um, Loosen these little valves or little um, nuts and what they do is you have those small o-rings so you slide that o-ring Over that little barb because we're not going to use tubing on there any longer and what that does is if you look inside there it allows it to go up and seat so we can take a single outlet and turn it into three outlets right away now in standard configuration you want to tighten that down with a wrench holding everything and then you of course you want to um, test everything once you hook it up Test all your joints, everything, just to make sure you haven't loosened something accidentally. You may need to Teflon tape or, or tighten something down. And then we're using uh, the Up Aqua. This is the brass Up Aqua bubble counter with check valve. And that's so, in this situation, we want to be able to control these below the aquarium so that we don't have to be looking up and down because this is a rack system for a store with multiple tanks involved so you want to go down there and just be able to count and the way these work i'm going to do the last one first of all on this three-way if you hadn't used these you could have hooked your tubing to this and it would turn giving you three needle valves so you've got you'll have one main needle valve that feeds the three and then you go to three needle valves you can even take an additional one as and you could connect it to there and go up to a five-way outlet if you wanted to. But for this, we just need two six-ways. So you, you take the first nut off. Unit comes like this. Make sure you they put the O-ring inside of it. Make sure you ask it. And you're just going to put that o-ring right on top just like that and that will allow you then tighten this down just like we did the, the other valve and you'll feel that o-ring sort of seat and then make sure you put your gasket now we'll put water in this later so some ro water so that we'll have the bubble count working properly and so now we have a three bubble counters all together underneath the rack. We're gonna make two of these and uh, hook them up for this. We're using, uh, they wanted replaceable, so we're using plastic replaceable CO2 units. And then we're using some of the Up Aqua uh, to have a little bit of something nice. We're using the Up Aqua spiral diffuser so you, customers can see that and it's intriguing to them. They work really well. Uh, as well and they're a little bit bigger so for some of the bigger tanks they've got a little bit bigger disc now viv would be a good option for this but in this particular application we're using so many of them that the up aqua is just more economical than the viv items if you were doing a home tank or you know a showy display where more people would see it you'd want to step up to use some of the viv type items or the mr aqua with all the fancy uh bubbles people would really like to see that and, and that's what i have in my own tank i like to see that spiral around Okay, 
here is the finished results of our store multi-tank install system. You see got bubble counters on each one with check valves hooked up to the tank. It's feeding, if you look up here, these are um, bunch plant tanks. And you can see the up aqua uh, CO2 bubble counter there. So that's how you do a multi-tank system. Have a great day.